this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. I just wanted to share with you all something that has really, really helped me uh, over the past month. For quite a few months. <laughs> Mason's not the tripod there. <laughs> For quite a few months, uh, it's been very, very warm, uh, ridiculous warm. And uh, I have swollen feet most of the time. Mason, sit. Sit. I have swollen feet most of the time. And they've just been swelling that much. It felt like the skin was going to crack. Um, so I've been, I started out by putting moisturiser on them to help them stretch a bit. <laughs> and um then as well as feeling very taut they felt on fire the skin did and i came up with the idea of possibly ice packs on them and i made uh, some packs up which i'll show you now how i did them and as soon as i put them on my feet oh it was instant relief so I'll show you now what I did. As you know, I've got one of these vacuum sealers and you might have a, a vacuum sealer yourself. I've just got normal, but they're fairly thick, plastic bags. Although it is sealed at the bottom, I just want to make sure that that seal will hold. So, I'm just putting it in and sealing it. Mason's playing with his biscuits. And once I know that that seals alright, I've got some water. Just a bit. Might be a bit too much of it. Put my sealer at the edge of my work surface so that the water won't spill out. I got the bag with the water, the bag with the water in it, and I folded it more or less in half. Then put it in my sealer, which is a bit on the complicated side, but you'll you'll work it out if you have a go, or if you seal any liquids, and then just seal it. I'm not bothering taking the air out or anything like that. I just want it to seal. And is isn't a straight line, but who cares? So you've got this bit left. So we put some more water in. Careful because it's going to spill. And then just seal the top down. Just, oops, yes it is. No, it's not leaking, it's just water that was near the top. And there it is. Yeah, it's just water that was near the top. Yeah, it's fully sealed in there. And I just put these, did two, two of them, put them in the bottom of my refrigerator and then at night when I sat watching the TV or anything and my feet were really, really bad hurting, 
uh, just get these out, they're nice and cool, and lay them, my foot's there, prop my feet, feet up because I've got a reclining sofa, so put my feet up, got these, put them over the top of them, and it was instant cooling down the burning sensation I was having on my feet. It didn't stop any of the swelling or anything, but it did help them stop burning <laughs> and I can take it and I'm, I still do get it now even though it is a lot cooler than the ridiculous heat that we were having but that was my little trick and I've got a few of them in the bottom of the refrigerator and they're there for when I need them because during the day I'm doing different things or I'm upstairs uh, in my sewing room so I'm using the foot pedal on my sewing machine so I can't really have these sitting on my feet plus I'm focused on doing other things and it stops my brain from uh, realising how bad my feet are hurting but at night when I'm watching the, the TV it's quite bad so these have been a godsend to me and they're cheap well water comes out the tap and it's a plastic bag thank you bye it's a perfect situation it's where the bad news bears for me a bag of temptation